Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. A new week is has arrived. It's Monday the 16th of August 2021 and this is the time of day when I um, have a bash at the New York Times hard level puzzle and you get to watch me flailing around trying to find the solution. Well, fortunately the camera is not on me you can't see the anguish or lines on my face as I crease up trying to find the numbers. Right, okay, so I should get jump straight in and uh, um, attempt to play. And I shall start with this three because that's the thing that I can see immediately. Three blocking down this column, three blocking down this column, and there's just one square left. And the three has to go in there. And I see a three blocking across this row, across this row, and that allows us to put a three here. Those are, that was the obvious first two numbers that I saw. I should warn you, if you've never been to this channel before, uh, it could take a long time. Uh, it could be, it could get messy um, because I don't practice or play these games in advance whatsoever. So anyway, uh, you are forewarned. There's seven blocks across here, seven blocks across here, seven blocks down there, and that will give me a seven here. If you've no idea what I'm talking about, it might mean you've never played Sudoku before, and I would suggest uh, probably check out another video to find out how to play the game first if you've never played Sudoku before. Um, the New York Times puzzle is usually quite a tricky one to solve. Okay, this eight blocks down this column here, and that gives us an eight here. We do not yet have a four in this row, but four is blocked from both of these squares here, so four has got to be here. Uh, this row is also lacking a 6, and this 6 stops that from being a 6. So 6 has got to go there, and the last number to get in that row is a 1. It's a good start. Promising start, this, although it could go belly up um, very quickly. You never know. Uh, I shall try not to be um, silent for too long because that makes for a pointless video. Hmm. Well, I'm frantically uh, revolving my eyes, not in their sockets, well, <laughs> just around the screen, uh, the direction of uh, my viewing, anyway, um, and not seeing a great deal that I can get at the moment. Uh, okay, so I think it's time to have to um, assist my um, game with some pencil marks. Um, just need to uh, see what's what. What else I can do? Okay, so I'm going to fill in this couple down here, which are six and nine, of course. 
uh, and uh, see what else it gives me. Nine blocking up here and nine blocking down here it gives me nine in these two squares as well. Uh, I'm not sure about anything else there. Now this one blocks up here and one blocks across here, so one is available. Oh, sorry. I'll take that back. One is available in these two squares, what I'm trying to say. One blocking up this column, so we'll appear either here or here. It's blocked here as well, I should say. One is in one of these two squares here. Okay. So we'll appear there. Okay, seven's blocking up here and up here and one across the middle here. It's going to give me sevens there. Seven down this column, up this column gives me sevens in those two squares. Ah, oh, this is slightly better, I hope. Five blocking across here and five blocking up here gives me a pair of fives in those squares. And that will give me fives in those squares up there as well. Uh, six blocking up here, up here. Sixes I'm placing here. Of course, this is very random. Um, don't worry, I'll try to be a bit more methodical uh, later. Let's just do what I can see that's kind of um, anything that's helping me. Um, I want to put in right now. Anything I think can help and be useful. Uh, and then I'll be a bit more, um, I'll be a bit stricter about it. Four blocking down here, four blocking up here. Gives me four in those two squares. Mm -hmm. Four down here as well, because we've got four blocking across here and four blocking down here. Uh, five blocking up here and up here, giving me five in those two squares there. I see threes blocking across here. And uh, three blocking up here, giving me a pair of threes in those squares. But I'm going to have to look, oh, one's blocking, one's here and here, of course. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to uh, um, just look, scroll through the numbers and see what I can see. Um, ones I know are limited to these three squares down here. Um, twos. I'm looking for pairs. If I can find pairs, that will be uh, jolly useful. Hmm. 
Well, it's rapidly going to pop, isn't it? <laughs> um, oh dear. Right, well, I don't see uh, anything else uh, in the way of pairs, so I means I'm going to have to fill in all of the candidates, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to have to. Okay, let's uh, start down here. So we've got one available like this, two blocks down here, so two is in these squares, three, uh, four, five, six we don't have yet, but six can go anywhere. So six, there's seven blocks across, oh, seven we've got already, sorry. Nine we've got, eight we don't have yet. Eight can go anywhere, I think. Okay, over here, one we've got two blocks, this square only, so two. There's three, four, we've got five blocks across this row. So five will be relegated to the bottom row. Six, seven, we've got eight. We can't say anything about, I think. Let's just click on it. Yep. Eights can go anywhere. And then nine, we've got blocking down here. So available in three squares. Right, I'm sure there's nothing here I'm going to be able to get. Mm. No, okay, so. Let's look, I don't know which side to go. This is going to be a nightmare in every direction, I suspect. So let's just do this. One, we've got two blocks across here and down here. So that means two is available in the corner squares. So that's there, there, and there. Three, we have blocking up this column and across this row. So three, three, and three. Four, we've got already five blocks across this row. So fives like this six we've got already seven we've got already eight blocks across this row so eight like that a bit of a delay on my keyboard come on come on keyboard come on <laughs> very strange and nine here um all right, let's continue up this shoot. So one we've got here, two, three, four, five. We don't know anything about yet, so fives can go anywhere. Um, six we've got already, seven we've got already, eights we don't, yes, eights we know it's not here, okay. And nine is blocking up here and across here, giving us nine um, these squares here. We let's just look at this. Ones are there, twos pattern looks okay. Let me just ones again. Ah, uh, threes. Okay, let me uh, look up and down the uh, column to see if there's anything useful. All right, I'm getting nothing much there, so um, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. In fact, your guess is probably better than mine as to where to go next. I'll just do this middle um, block here. One, we've got two. We've got three blocks up here and three blocks across here like this. So three is possible in three squares. Four, we've got five. We've got 
six blocks across the middle row. Six is this. <coughs> seven blocks across the middle row and up here. So seven is in the corner squares. Eight blocks across the middle row. That's it. So eight. And nine we've got already. Okay, um, no, okay, this side one we've got here, two blocks across there and up here, so two, two, and two, three we've got, four blocks up here and across here, so four is possible, like that, five we've got already. Ah, this is going to be a six, look, because I see a nine already blocking this square. So this is going to be a 6 because we've got everything else. 7, 8, and 9 will block this square here. This must be a 6. Let's put that 6 in now. Okay. And let's get rid of candidate 6 here and here. And that leaves... Uh, let's finish... Um, let's better finish doing this. Uh, so I've got 9 to fill in in this uh, um, block here as pencil marks. Um... Oops, let me see now. Okay, so nine blocking up here, nine blocking here. Nine's got to be available in three places there. Now, uh, seven, eight, seven, eight here. So that means we can remove this seven and eight here, giving us a pair of two, five, and two, five there. Okay, that's better. Okay, two, five. Two five eight nine two five eight nine five eight nine. Okay, got it. Two five eight nine four numbers. Five eight nine two five two eight nine two five eight nine four numbers in four squares. Okay, so that means here we can get rid of the two and the eight, and here we can get rid of the five and the nine, and that will leave us with a single three. So we'll put in the three there, and that will give us a seven. That square there. Uh, this three that we place now means I can remove pencil mark three there. Okay, that will be three as a pair there. That looks good. Um, this seven that we have now means I can remove that candidate seven there. click away and make sure we've got what we need to get. Okay, so now since we've got 7 and 8, 7 and 8 here, uh, we can't have this 8 anymore, so we can now place the 6. And we can remove pencil mark 6 here and down here as well. And that gives us a single 8 in this square. And we can remove the 8 here and here. And here and here and here. Um, we, I've also got an 8 here to get rid of, I just realised. Okay, there we go. Make sure that looks okay now. This shading is uh, jolly useful, I think, sometimes. Um, helps a lot. Okay, I'm going to look and go through stuff and see if there's anything else that I can do that looks, or mistakes that I've made. Um, okay, before I go and do any more candidate filling.
one just because you know I like to keep the candidates to a minimum if possible. Well, it's not always possible, but I see that I'm going to be able to fill in the can three blocking across here, across here, and up here. I do see that three will be candidates in those two squares as well. I'm obviously looking for errors right now though. Ah, uh, well I found something else then. So it looks like the fives are filled in here already. We've got five limited to the top row and the bottom row in this block and here the top row and the bottom row in this block so that this square here must be a five and we can remove um, that candidate there. Okay, uh, sixes. Well, I'm going to put in a pair of sixes that I can see now going there and there. It's blocking here, blocking here, of course. Ah, so we've got an eight here now. <laughs> this is why the highlighting is really nice. That, in fact, is a seven. And that's an eight there. And uh, pencil mark eights can appear here and here. Pencil mark seven actually blocking up here and up here, so sevens like that. Mm. Um, nines blocking across here. And nines blocking across here gives me a pair of nine in those two squares. Okay, I'm going to finish um, putting in candidates now. So I've got candidates uh, in the two thirds, the lower two thirds of the grid. I, in the top shoot, I don't have full candidates yet. But I think I've got everything here in this block. So actually it's the first two blocks that I need to finish putting in candidates. So let's start with one blocking up here like that. Um, okay. So one possible like this. Uh, two blocking up this column and across this row. So two like this. Three we've got already. Four, we've got blocking up this column and across this row. So four, like this. Five, we've got six, seven, eight, nine. So everything's done now. Let's fill it. Uh, let's have a look at this. Um, okay, I'll just do some error checking. It looks okay. All right, let's uh, uh, finish up here now. So one um, can go anywhere in this particular block. Um, two blocks across this row and up here. So two is possible in these squares. Three, we've got four blocks up here and across here. So four is possible. Like this five we've got uh, we don't have six yet six blocks just hmm, just this square that's all six can go everywhere else okay eight nine we've got seven we've got okay so eight nine so that's done now so we've got a pair of one or four here which looks to be good Okay, so I think uh, it's let's play Sudoku time. <laughs> um, all right, so I definitely am going to highlight stuff and uh, see 
the fact if the shading helps me out here. Excuse me while I mess around on the chair. It's a bit squeaky. Okay, I didn't see any mistakes. Um, I'm doing this because I'm looking for conjugate pairs and seeing if I can see anything like X wings or something like that, which are often useful. And also to see if I've made any mistakes, which can certainly happen. Hmm. Okay, the sevens are pretty clear, we'll forget seven. Hmm. Right, so I need to uh, stop doing that and let me um, go through and look at possibilities, other possibilities, other things that I might be able to see. I've seen one thing, although it's not particularly life-threatening to this Sudoku, but I can tell you that this one I can remove, I believe. So let me show you why. Okay, I've got a bit of a unique rectangle pattern here of 1 and 7. 1, 7, 1, 7, 4, 1, 7 in here, and 1, 7 in here. But we have lots of other candidates, okay? Now, I don't have like three by-value cells. Um, no, I don't have that pattern, but I do have just one by value cell. So if I go to the one that's diagonally opposite, which is this one here, and I look for any ones or sevens in the same column or row, and if I find one of those numbers, I can remove it, but if I find both, I can't. So first of all, I look for sevens. Now remember, not including this, because this is part of the unique rectangle, but not including uh, this square or this square, but if I find any other sevens where uh, we can consider that, and the answer is no. But if I can find, find any other ones, well, yeah, look, there's a lot of ones everywhere. So it actually means that I can remove candidate one from there. But I'm not sure, really, that that's going to give me a great deal. Um, no, it really isn't. But um, I have made one removal, at least. So I'm not sure that that's really going to help me, but... Um, you know, anything you can do to narrow stuff down.
And from here on in, it might get very quiet for a little while until I try to desperately sort out this situation. Hmm. Dear. I shall move around on the chair yet again. This means extra comfort level. I'm going to go through and quickly highlight stuff again. Um, wow.
Ooh wee, this is going to be tough. Oh. Let's go block by block. One, two, five, one, two, five, two, six, seven, one. Two, four, six, seven, one, two. Ah, oh, one, four, one, four. Oh, look. Okay, one four, one six, one four six. We've got a triple. Oh, ooh. that took me a long time to see. Okay, one four six, one four. Three numbers in these three squares. Okay, so we can get rid of any ones, fours, and sixes here now. So six can go there. Six can go there. Oh, is that? Done it. Let's take away. Um, okay, has that done enough? I'm going to have to look the, look again now. Um, oh no, I've got fewer one here and one here. Sorry. Okay, let's try again on one. Okay, so now that one can't exist because we've got a pointing pair. No, that's not right. Take that back. One, four, six. Okay, like that. Okay. Three and a pair here now. Seven and a pair here. Three and four, six, six, seven. Okay, that. Ooh. 
Okay, so now six is, this is the only six in this row, right? So we can place a six there. Oh, I hope that's going to do it. Let's get rid of the six there. And now this is the only place where a six can go in this row now. So we can place a six there and we can remove candidate six from there. Let's just see. Okay. Now, I, don't, I still don't even know if that's going to be enough. I hope it is. But um, this has been such a tough puzzle for me. Finding this this one, four, and six, three numbers in three squares here has been really, uh, that was really uh, difficult to see. Um, I hope that's enough, but um, it may not be. I've got to keep at it. Um, let's see what else. So, uh, have I got to um, do any removals or anything? What, what did I do now? I've put my square. Oh, I put a six in here, haven't I? Make sure there's no sixes anywhere else now. Six. Uh, as I say, maybe it's still not enough. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, Actually, I think I'm better at not highlighting just at the moment. Let's let's just try going across the rows again. Uh, one, two, five, one, four, seven, two, seven, two, eight, one, four, one, four, seven. Okay, over here, four, nine, one, four, nine, one, two, five, one, seven. Okay, this way one, two, three, four, nine, four, five, six, seven, Well, I didn't find much across the rows. Let's try the uh, columns. One, two, four. Oh, okay, well, that's done away. Four, nine. Four, five, Uh, here we go, 583835. Oh, wow. Okay, so this has got to be a 9 now. So it can't be 5 or 8. Oh my god, this one was a killer. Okay, 2. Um, that's got to be enough, right? Let's get rid of the 2 and 9. Surely it's, there can't be any more after that. Okay, that's a 9. That leaves me here with a 6. Okay, oops. Sorry, six, five, okay, and a nine here. Six has got to be here now. And that gives me a six in that square there. Let's get rid of candidates. Sorry. Let's get rid of candidate six there. Okay. Now four. Okay, right. Phew, that's got to be enough. I know that's got to be enough. I uh, can get rid of candidate 6 down here now. 
Okay, and what else in here? Something in here. Two has got to go. So we've got five, eight, and five, eight now. Man, this has been one really tough puzzle. Uh, <laughs> um, I've still got a little bit more to do, but um, it should be solvable now. Two here gives us a five there, and two there. And that's a one. So let's get rid of candidate one up here as well. Giving us two five two five there. Get rid of candidate one there. <laughs> um, two's got to go here now since I've got two here already. We've got four nine four nine, so that's got to be a five. Okay. And that gives us a four here. We've got five already, so that's a three. That's the eight. Okay, we must get there now. Definitely got enough to do this now. Four nine four nine four nine one four nine. That's got to be a one. And that's a seven. And that's a four. One here. Four here like that. Four blocking down. This is not a four. That's got to be the four there. Let's get rid of candidate four here to keep this stuff in order. I don't want to get confused at this stage in the game and mess it up after <laughs> such a struggle. It's been a struggle this one. That's a nine. Nine I said. Four goes here. Nine goes here. Okay. Only one place for a nine up here now. That's got to go there. Uh, we've got an eight here, so this is a five. Uh, let's get rid of candidate five in this square and this square. Even though there's one eight, one eight here, one eight here, so this has got to be a five down here. The eight goes here like that. Uh, only one number missing in this row. We've got a nine here, so this has got to be a three. Giving us a one there and a nine. Oh, nine there, sorry. Oh, I'm getting so, you know, I'm getting so close to the end after having struggled for such a long time. I'm hitting the wrong keys. Two blocking up here. So that's got to be a seven. One number left to get in this column, and it's a three. Uh, this one stops that from being a one. That's an eight now. One is here. Um, what are we left with? We must be left with something. I've got to get rid of candidate three there. Even with two, eight. And so what have we got? Oh yeah, the five. This five stops this from being a five. So that is now a two. The five goes here. This two stops that from being a two. It means it's an eight. And the two goes here. Well, I earned my colors there. Um, oh, there's no timer. I always switch the timer off when playing this game. But, um, phew. <sighs> I wasn't even sure that I was going to make that to the end. For me, that was really tough. That hidden triple of, uh, in, in this block here really um, was a nightmare for me. Um, really found that one difficult to solve. Um, but got there in the end, so pure relief. Pure joy at the end of having solved a really tough one. And uh, I hope you solved it too. And I uh, hope you took less time than me. Of course, the timing is not important. But I mean, I don't want to spend all day playing Sudoku. <laughs> you must have more productive things to do in your life as well. I do as well. So thank you. I shall leave it there. Say goodbye. Thank you for joining me uh, for Monday. And I uh, hope to see you again another time. Bye-bye.